Hey guys, and welcome to the Clark International Speedway here in the Philippines. My name is Daniel Woodruff, a professional race car driver and TDOs all the way from Malaysia. The, I've joined the journey of the Formula 4 Southeast Asia Championship and we're here for the second leg. And actually, as you can see behind me, you can hear as well, uh, we're just about to start the first race of the second event for the Formula 4 SEA. We've got six races on offer uh, this weekend. Today is Saturday. We've had some practice sessions yesterday on the Friday. And these drivers had just had their qualifying session, so they're all going out in order of fastest laps uh, to get ready for the first race. So they're just finishing their warm-up lap, and I'll go through the order of the drivers that we have uh, today. Uh, starting on pole position, we have Ben Grimes of the Philippines. So we have a Filipino racing on a Filipino track starting on pole. Extremely fantastic. Uh, I'm sure there'll be a lot of home fans here are going to be wishing that he uh, finishes in P1 as well. In uh, second place, we actually have Daniel Chow all the way from Shanghai in China. In third, we have Kane Shepard of Thailand. In fourth, we've got Sam Grimes, the younger Grimes brother, also from the Philippines. One of the only two Filipinos flying the Filipino flag here on their home track. In uh, fifth, we've got Adam Khalid of Malaysia. In sixth, we also have another Malaysian, Timothy Yeo. Uh, in seventh, we have Luke Thompson of Ireland. And in eighth, we have uh, Shivan Sirinarin Thorn all the way from Thailand. So all these drivers, all very, very young, up and coming talents. I'm sure they're all very nervous, uh, all very excited to prove their, their worth, to drive all their hearts out. We have a 13 lap race. And as we can see, the drivers are coming around the last corner now. You can see Ben Grimes uh, accelerating and braking very, very hard to warm up his tires uh, as they all get on to the starting grid. They're all gonna be focusing as hard as they can to get the best start possible. We've got a very, very long straight here, so if you don't get a good start, it's gonna be, you're going to be overtaken by a lot of people even before you reach turn one. So they're all lining up, the red lights will go on, and when they go off, uh, they're going to jet off, and uh, I'm sure we're going to have an extremely great race. Uh, we're going to change camera angles for you in a second, and I'll continue the commentary. And uh, yeah, enjoy the race, guys. Excellent start for Ben Grimes. Now we're going to be hoping for a clean start. All the cars jumbled together, but it's Ben Grimes who does have the best start, starting from pole position. And he goes clean into turn one. As they make the approach into turn two, all the cars go single file. As they come round turn three, no accidents, we have a clean start. That's always good to see in Junior Series. To finish the race in first, first you must finish. Let's see who's coming round. As they approach the next hairpin, coming into turn six. It's Ben Grimes in the lead and Daniel Chow in second. In third, we still have Kane Shepard. Oh no, Kane Shepard's fallen down to fourth. Oh, and we have someone who's spun. We have a spin. Will he be able to continue? It looks like he's stuck in the grass. As all the drivers come up into the middle straight of the track as they approach turn nine. It's still Ben Grimes of the Philippines in the lead. Daniel Chow following very closely behind. Sam Grimes in third, holding off Kane Shepard in fourth. As the drivers make an approach to the second half of the track. Ben Grimes keeping his head down, keeping his cool. Adam Khalid in third. Adam Khalid in Malaysia with a fantastic start. As the drivers get into the infield section, it's a very, very complex set of corners. A very, very tight chicane. Not a normal chicane you'd find on a racetrack as there's, there's more than one. You've got the left, then the right, and then another left. Very, very tight sequence of corners for these cars. The track only 14 meters wide. As the drivers make their approach through the last corner, turn 18, flat out. Still Ben Grimes who leads. Timothy Yeo in fifth. Timothy Yeo of Malaysia, of course. Not having driven a Formula car in almost five years, he's making a good comeback. Timothy Yeo having driven uh, Porsche Carrera Cup cars uh, in the last few months this year. So it's a huge difference seeing him move from a uh, GT car all the way into a single seater. Very, very different type of driving. Of course, uh, Timothy O has also driven on this track before in 2011 in go-karts, so very, very different. 
But uh, continuing as we approach, as the drivers approach turn six, you can see the yellow flags waving by the marshals. Uh, of course, due to uh, one of the cars spinning out, you can see the driver is all okay as he makes his way towards the marshal post. Always good to see that the driver is okay. Drivers making their way through turn eight. Daniel Chow of China still has his nose cone right on the tail of Ben Grimes of the Philippines. You see him checking his mirrors. He's going to want to keep his eyes on the road ahead of him and not behind him so as to keep putting in the fastest laps and building up as much of a gap, gap as possible. But Daniel Chow, the event winner of the first round of the Formula 4 Southeast Asia Championship this year, he put in an absolutely dominant performance in Sepang in Malaysia, of course, in front of that Formula 1 crowd. Uh, he had the expectations of pole position here, but it wasn't enough to deter home favorite, Ben Grimes. Ben Grimes, who did start in pole position, and he's still in P1 as he makes his way through the chicane sections. Turn 16, turn 17. It's very important to get a good exit out of turn 17 early on the power, because after turn 17, you are flat out on the throttle. You do not stop lifting the throttle up until turn one. And of course, turn one from the last corner is almost a kilometer away in distance. A huge, huge, huge long straight. So if you were to make a mistake out of the last corner, uh, that really, really compromise your, compromises your top speed at the end of the straight. So rounding out the top four, we have Ben Grimes of the Philippines in first. Daniel Chow of Shanghai, China, following very, very closely behind him in second. In third, we've got Malaysia's Adam Khalid, who put in an excellent first lap, ending in P3, and close behind him is Kane Shepard of Thailand in P4. Now, these two front pack uh, pairs have uh, pulled away from the rest of the pack. They're just going to be putting in consistent lap times to make sure that they can pull away from the drivers behind them. There's a small gap opening between Adam Khalid and Kane Shepard between P3 and P4, but that gap still remains. Very, very tiny gap between Daniel Chow and Ben Grimes fighting for P1 and P2. Of course, this track can be quite bumpy in some areas. Uh, they've been putting in a lot of work and it's uh, seen great improvements, but it's still a very, very technical track to overtake on. So. Uh, It'll be very interesting to see where Daniel Chow will make his move or wherever he sees his opportunity. So drivers make their way past turn 13. A very, very high speed, sorry, mid-speed corner. Drivers approaching in third gear and actually dropping down to second in the middle of the corner. Very, very tight, very, very long. And uh, that means it just makes it even harder for the drivers to overtake. As we have our front two coming out of the last corner, Looks like Ben Grimes was able to get on the power very, very well out of the last corner. Managing to maintain, maybe even pull even a bit of a gap to Daniel Chow as he approaches the first corner. The first corner here, well the first series of corners actually, very, very complex. As you can see the drivers approach at a very high speed. They're doing approximately 200 kilometers per hour in sixth gear and they still accelerate, they still turn in while accelerating for that corner. And then they dab on the brakes, they downshift three times into third gear, and they dab on the throttle a little bit more as they downshift into second for turn three. The drivers, of course, have had a full day of practice yesterday. They had the Friday of practice sessions to get to grips with both the cars and with this technical track, as well as the, uh, the, the Filipino heat. I know a lot of the drivers were struggling with the Filipino heat. And uh, with 13 laps on offer this race, the fittest drivers will really show their worth. As the drivers who maybe struggle a bit more with their fitness will start to dwindle in terms of lap time and drop off a little bit. But fitness definitely isn't a factor for China's Daniel, uh, Daniel Chow or for the Philippines uh, with Ben Grimes as the front two seem to be putting in extremely similar lap times. They're keeping on pace with each other as they approach turn 13 now. Going up the gears into third gear as they approach turn 14 now. A slight lift on the throttle and as they approach the, the chicanes of 14, 15 and 16, they just have to get on the brakes slightly. 
downshift into second and to really carry that speed. With corners as tight as this, especially in chicanes, it really is all down to the driver to, to make that difference in lap time. They have to really carry that corner speed. It's Ben Grimes and Daniel Ch Chow, coach turn 18, flat out, absolutely flat out. There is just no giving up with Daniel Chow or from Kane Shepard, both fighting for first and third respectively. So the starting position in race one is actually determined by the fastest lap in qualifying. But because we have six races on offer this weekend, we have race two later this afternoon. And the starting grid for that race is actually determined by the fastest lap in race one. So for the drivers who may not be fighting for a podium position, it's definitely important for them to try and find a clear piece of track to really focus, maintain their tire grip, and to really make sure that they pump out the fastest possible lap times. Of course, because the fastest possible lap times that you can get in this will determine your starting position in the second race. So drivers who, eat are, who aren't even going for the win can still start on pole position in the next race. It's a very, very long weekend for these drivers. Six races, 30 races on offer in this entire championship. All these drivers from around the world, drivers from Malaysia, Thailand, the Philippines, Ireland, all traveling here to Clark in the Philippines to prove that they are Southeast Asia's next best junior single-seater driver. Of course, the Philippines isn't the only stop for them on this calendar. We had our first event leg in Malaysia supporting the Formula One. We're here now this weekend in Clark International Speedway in the Philippines. After this, we head to Central International Circuit in Indonesia. After which we head to Thailand, all the way in Buriram United International Circuit. And then we return back to Malaysia for the last round. As we've seen in previous years, the championship usually does come down to the final round. Last year, we actually saw a different winner for every single event. Which just goes to show that with a one-make championship, of course, all these drivers are in identical machinery, identical cars, tires, and setups. It's all down to the driver to make that difference. If a driver wins here, it usually is because he is the best of the lot. And right now, that means it's Ben Grimes leading the pack. He really is the best of the lot. Ooh, he seems to have missed the apex slightly in going into turn six. Maybe the pressure of Daniel Chow in second is getting to him. But where will Daniel Chow make that move? Ben Grimes still maintaining the lead as he comes out of turn eight. He needs to get a really, really good exit out of here because it's a very, very long straight all the way down to turn 11. As you can see, Daniel Chow right on his tail. At these high speeds, the slipstream will definitely work in their favor. The slipstream, of course, meaning the aerodynamic effect caused by drafting behind somebody. The front car breaks through the air, meaning, meaning that there's less drag on you behind, which usually means that you can pick up a higher speed as these cars negotiate the technical turn 13. Ben Grimes still maintaining that gap even after a slight mistake going into turn six. Further down the order, you can see Malaysia's Timothy Yo in going around turn 13, followed by Thailand Shivin. Shivan in putting in a great effort. He's learned a lot so far this season. Uh, Shivan, of course, getting his first Formula car experience in Malaysia at the uh, Malaysian Grand Prix, the Formula One support race. And he's here fighting, fighting with, his, with his rivals, improving lots due to the open data concept of the Formula Four Southeast Asia Championship. Of course, fueled by the Petro, Petron Corporation. And what this open data concept means is that all the data is open between the drivers. So when a driver is the fastest on track, all the drivers can come back into the pit lanes, into the pits, download the data, the information from the cars, and they can actually see where the other drivers are faster or slower than them. From there, our world-class driver coaches in the paddock are able to coach them and teach them how to make those changes and improve them and convert them into faster lap times. 
This can come in the form of braking later or braking earlier, getting on the power slightly better, or changing the racing line. All these cars have, have top-notch, top-tech cameras at the very top, which means that after each race, after each session, the driver is able to look over the session, look over the laps with the driver coaches and see what changes they need to make. Although the gap is still very small between Ben and Daniel Chow, their own pack is making an even bigger gap to third and fourth place. In third, we have Malaysia's Adam Khalid. Oop, oop, and he's pushing. You can see his car just twitching a little bit sideways. The Malaysian really trying to pull a gap to Thailand's Kane Shepard in fourth. Really piling on the pressure. All right, as we see a fight, with Shivin still edging out into turn 13. Oh, we have a little bit of a peek going into the chicane. He tries to make a move, doesn't quite cut it. These fantastic sounding cars making their way down the front straight, going up the gears, all the way up fourth, fifth, up to sixth gear. Hear them upshifting. And these F4 cars are powered by two liter four cylinder Renault engines producing 160 brake horsepower. You see, there's battles all the way through the order. The front pack all the way down to the back. Luke Thompson piling on the pressure to Shivin. Can he make a move into turn three? No, he can't, but he makes, he just peaks. And I'm sure Shivin can see that in his rear view mirror. He's gonna try not to let that pressure get to him. As our front pair make their way out of turn eight. Ben Grimes opening up a little bit of a gap. Ben being able to just be that tad bit more consistent. Daniel really catching up on the brakes, but is he able to maintain it as he powers out of the corner? As they come through turn 12. They stay in second gear, they just hit the limiter and they get on the power. Up the gears to third as they approach turn 13. Downshift into second in the middle of the corner. Hard on the power, up to third. You can hear that bang when they upshift. Slight lift of the throttle as they approach turn 14, as they enter the chicane. Wonderful sounds produced by these wonderful cars. The perfect stepping stone for these young junior drivers as they really just begin their career on their path to Formula One. Many of these drivers just making their first steps out of go-karting. Go-karting, of course, the very, the very first step in any race car driver's career. Oh, and we have Kane Shepard going really, really wide out of the last corner. Trying to go too wide in the last corner with, with Adam Kali. That was never gonna work. And that's really compromised the gap that he had right behind Adam Khalid. That long straight not doing him any good. He came separate to Thailand in his yellow car, really having to, to work hard to, to make up that gap. Incredible close racing. As I was saying previously, go-karting is where a lot of drivers start their, their careers. And Formula 4 is the most cost-effective platform for them to transition from go-karts, which are of course race on smaller tracks, onto bigger car tracks like this. Formula 4 cars, very similar to Formula 1 cars. You have the paddle shift system on the steering wheel, a steering wheel that's very similar to Formula 1 steering wheels in a lot of ways. Maybe a few less buttons, a few less functionalities, but uh, in essence it's the same. And it's, a, it's a, the kind of controls that teach these drivers the basics as they progress up to Formula 3 up to Formula 2, and hopefully up into Formula 1 one day. Here are the drivers changing through the gears using the paddle shift system on the steering wheel. Little, these, on the steering wheels actually there's uh, two paddles and on the right side when they pull it, it goes up the gears and on the left side when they pull it, it goes down the gears. Malaysia's Timothy O negotiating turn 13 in a pack of his own where all the other drivers seem to be in their own battles. 
Daniel Chow just twitching slightly on the rear coming out of the last corner. Last corner, of course, is completely flat out. Which means it's very important for these drivers to be at their peak levels of concentration. One wrong step at full throttle around this tight last corner and uh, something could go wrong. Looks like Kane Shepard of Thailand has made up that gap that he lost after his mistake on the last corner two laps ago. He's right back on the tail of Adam, of Adam Khalid from Malaysia. Adam Khalid making his debut this season in the Formula 4 Southeast Asia Championship. He wasn't uh, able to attend the first event in Malaysia. So he's going to really want to get that podium position. Of course, he's still in third place. But as he looks into his rearview mirrors, he can see that Kane Shepard of Thailand is right on his tail. Adam Khalid going a little bit wide at the exit of the Turn 8 hairpin. But who's going to have the better exit? Kane Shepard going to be benefiting from the slipstream. But as we look further up the pack into first and second places, it's still Ben Grimes who controls the pace. Daniel Chow, you can see, possibly with a little bit more pace than Ben Grimes, but just can't seem to find a proper place to overtake. As I mentioned before, the Clark International Speedway, a very, very technical circuit, a driver's circuit. You have to be very, very talented to be on the front row here. But that also means it makes it even more difficult for you to overtake. A lot of tight and twisty turns. 14 meters wide, the circuit, which means there's not a lot of room for error. Ben Grimes coming out of the last corner. You can see his helmet, he's just looking straight. He's not giving Daniel Chow the light of day. Daniel Chow, of course, the event one champion. Could we see a Filipino take away the event two overall championship? It may be too late to say, but, Dan but Ben Grimes is definitely off to a great start. So with six events in the Formula 4 Southeast Asia Championship, going to six different destinations, we also, that also means that we have six different champions. We have a different champion for each event. Six races per event. Each race there are points that are calculated and accumulated. And uh, as we'll show you with the podium ceremony uh, after this, there are also a bunch of trophies to be collected, which I'm sure all these drivers are, are gunning for. These young talents really duking it out to prove their worth. This really is the first step to Formula One. And if you can impress, impress your peers and impress the global motorsports world with your performances in this championship, who knows what opportunities may arise. Last year, we already saw our front runners, uh, especially Fane Kahia from, from all the way from New Zealand. He actually came to all the races all the way from New Zealand because this was the best next step for him in his motorsports career. Due to his outstanding performance that season, just missing out the championship by a few points, finishing in second, he was awarded a Lamborghini test drive all the way in Italy with a factory team. And I know through uh, experience and speaking to a lot of these drivers, an opportunity like that would be a dream come true for these young drivers. Ben Grimes really pulling a gap. A couple more laps to go. This is the first we've seen of Ben Grimes really commanding a lead over Daniel Chow of China. Either Daniel Chow is just getting a bit tired or losing his pace, or he's trying to build a bit of a gap so he gets some clean air. He doesn't get the dirty air behind Ben Grimes, and it means that he can put in the fastest lap. Now, why is that fastest lap important? Well, as I mentioned earlier, the fastest lap in this race, race one, will determine your starting position in race two. Race two, of course, happening later this afternoon, which you guys can tune into on this live stream as well. So it's an incredibly inc important compromise between track position. Of course, you want to get that podium spot, but you also want to have that bit of clean air to allow you to get the fastest lap time. These Formula 4 cars, you can see on camera, 
they have wings around them. They've got wings at the front, wings at the back. Their entire design is to generate aerodynamic downforce. That means more grip, the faster they go. What that also means is that the closer you get to a driver in front of you, the dirtier, the more turbulent the air is. And that means that the aerodynamic effect of your car becomes less efficient. In essence, in layman's terms, you get less grip the closer you are to the driver in front. So Daniel Chow, although he's lost a bit of a gap to the front runner, Ben Grimes, it also means that he has cleaner air to give his car more grip, which means that he can pump out faster lap times. Great battles up and down the field. As you see, eight and ninth position. Approaching turn 13 now. We have Shivan of Thailand. P8, sorry, P7. And Luke Thompson of Ireland right on his tail in P8. Really trying to work out where he can make that move. Trying to pressure Shivan into a mistake. As we see, Kane Shepard and Adam Cully too wide on the main straight. Kane Shepard of the yellow car all the way on the inside. This one kilometer straight is so long, you can see that Kane Shepard actually managed to overtake him right before the first corner. With only a few laps to go, that is not what Adam Khalid of Malaysia wanted. He definitely wanted to go defensive. There was not much he can do on this long straight. That's what I was talking about before. If you don't get a good enough exit out of the last corner, you just won't get a good enough top speed by the end of the main straight. And that's worked entirely in Kane Shepard's favor. Kane Shepard coming all the way from Thailand here. Kane Shepard really demonstrating all of his years of racing experience. This boy uh, of a mixed Thai and English heritage, uh, spending most of his racing career racing in go-karts in Asia where he's progressed through the ranks, starting in the Cadet Championship, which is for the under 12s, into the Junior Championship, where he really started to flourish into the racing driver that he is today, putting in multiple wins. If I'm not mistaken, he just came back from the Karting World Finals. Kane really showing off the racecraft that he learned at these global racing events here at the competitive Formula 4 Southeast Asia Championship, fueled by the Petron Corporation. Now don't forget guys, for those of you listening to the live stream, it's not too late for you guys to actually come to the track and watch the race yourself. As we see, Ben Grimes take the checkered flag, Daniel Chow in second, Ben Grimes from the Philippines punching the air in pure delight. That is his first race win in Formula Cars. That was a lights to flag finish, a dream come true. His first pole position with Kane Shepard coming in P3 and Malaysia's Adam Khalid in P4. Adam Khalid will be frustrated with himself because it was only two laps before the end where he lost his podium position. Through the last corner in P5, we have Malaysia's Timothy Yo. P6. And in P7, we have Shivin and Luke Thompson. Fantastic race by these young guns. Of course, the first of six races this weekend. And as I was mentioning, it's not too late for you guys listening to this live stream to come to the track and check it out yourselves. There are no admission fees. You come straight in and check out the grandstands. Come support the drivers. Come support the Formula 4 Southeast Asia Championship partnered with Petron, Blaze Racing. Fantastic performance by these young drivers. Of course, these drivers are the future of Southeast Asian motorsports, of Asian motorsports even. And I'm sure that we'll see these names progress through the ranks in years to come. As the drivers start their cool down lap, trying to conserve their tires. Remember, they've got two more races on this set. They have to do race two and race three on these set of tires as well. So they're gonna wanna slow down as they come into the pits, let everything cool down, let their bodies cool down, but to make sure that they're, more importantly, that their tires don't wear out. see the Filipino heat getting to some of these drivers I'm sure some of them are very tired after racing their hearts out but we still have one race to go this afternoon so we look up to the sky as well dark clouds approaching who knows there may be a wet race
As you can see behind me, as you can hear, you probably can't see, the drivers are making their way into the pit lane, having finished race one of event two of the Formula 4 Southeast Asia Championship here at the Clark International Speedway. A very exciting race with a pole to light, pole to flag, sorry, finish. Sorry, very, very loud as the drivers get on the pit lane limit, speed limiter. Filipino Ben Grimes starting on pole position and finishing all the way in first place every single lap. And uh, stay tuned to this live stream. We have race two coming on later this afternoon. And uh, we're going to head down to the podium. See you guys there. Are you guys coming down as well? Are you guys going to the podium? I know. For the, yeah, for the last race. The last race. Okay, I need to go. Okay. So, uh, I'll see you guys later. Okay. I'm going to go to the podium. Bababa yung host natin, man. Eh. Tarawa muna pang wireless. Ah. Oh, dun. Sa baba.
Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning into our live stream. Race two is just about to begin. Let's see what happens. Ben Grimes from the Philippines starting on pole. Oh, slow start from Ben Grimes. We saw Ben Grimes start on pole position, but with a slow start, Daniel Chow was looking on the inside. Can he still maintain his position into the first corner? Ben Grimes goes wide, taking the racing line. Cuts across, Daniel Chow still on the inside. Daniel Chow from China in the white car. Takes a peek going into turn three. Ben Grimes of the Philippines still retains P1. See what happens when the cars come round the next bend. As they go up the gears and approach the first hairpin on the track. We see Ben Grimes pulling a bit of a lead against Daniel Chow in second. In third place, we again have da Adam Khalid of Malaysia. Fourth place, we have Kane Shepard of Thailand. Ben Grimes, P1. Daniel Chow, P2. Adam Khalid, P3. Kane Shepard in fourth. Timothy Yeo of Malaysia in P5. Oh, and we've got Sam Grimes of the Philippines, the younger brother of Ben Grimes, who's in P1, making a move against Shivin in P7. P8, we have Luke Thompson. As the drivers approach turn 14, the very, very tight chicane intersection of the track. Very, very important for these drivers to get it right, especially the last corner. As they approach turn 17, they have to get on the power very, very hard, but smoothly and cleanly. Because as they approach turn 18, they're going to be flat on all the way until turn 1. Of course, they're not lifting until turn 1, and they've got a one kilometer straight, which means it's key for them to get that high exit speed. Ken Grimes, still in P1. Now, the starting order for race two was determined by the fastest lap in race one, of course, which happened earlier this afternoon. It was Ben Grimes starting on pole. Next to him was Daniel Chow of China. On the second row, we had Adam Khalid and Kane Shepard. On the third row, we had, starting in fifth, Timothy Yeo, Luke Thompson of Ireland, starting in sixth. And then on the last row, in, f in seventh, Shivan Sirinarinthon of Thailand and Sam Grimes of the Philippines starting in last. Of course, he had that spin on the first lap of race one, therefore wasn't able to clock in a fastest lap. And he, I'm sure he's going to want to work his way up the order on his home track. We can see him there in the last yellow car, already working his way up the field, taking a peek into the braking zone of the hairpin. Sam Grimes right on the tail of Malaysian Timothy Yeo. Can Timothy hold the homeboy back? Ben Grimes, really striding off that confidence that he took from race one. Maintaining that gap against Daniel Chow. Daniel Chow will really want to keep his head down and really show that he can take P1 in one of these races. Adam Khalid in P3. Kane Shepard in P4. Kane was able to take P3 from Adam Khalid on the 11th of 13th laps in race one. So Adam is definitely wanna, gonna wanna defend as hard as he can and grab that last podium place. As the drivers exit turn 17, hard on the power, negotiating the flat out turn 18. Still Ben Grimes who leads. Daniel Chow in third, Adam Khalid in third, Kate Shepard in fourth, Timothy Yeo in fifth, Sam Grimes, the younger of the Grimes brothers, also flying the Filipino flag in sixth, Luke Thompson in seventh, and Shivin in eighth. The conditions definitely aren't as hot this evening. We've got some overcast, and that's definitely going to help the drivers, help cool them down a bit, but also means that their, their machinery is going to be slightly cooler. Cooler on the tires, which means that they'll last slightly better for this 13-lap race. Oh, and I think we saw a move against Timothy Yeo in fifth. We have Sam Grimes taking that fifth spot from the Malaysian. You can see Sam Grimes, the second Filipino driver on the grid, in fifth place in that yellow car. 
He's definitely picking up the pace. He's got a better set of tires. He didn't actually use a lot of his tires in the first race because of his spin. So he's definitely going to be clocking in the faster lap times. He's already hunting down Kane Shepard of Thailand in that leading yellow car. Kane's going to have his eyes ahead onto Adam Khalid. But he's going to have to look in his mirrors very soon because Sam Grimes is catching up. As the drivers come through turn 13. They go wide. Adam Khalid dropping into second gear, getting hard on the power. Wanting to do so as smoothly as possible to keep the tie driver right behind him. But how long can this pack stay ahead with a young Filipino driver working his way up the ranks? Sam, of course, the younger of the two Grimes brothers. A lot of experience between them in Asian karting championships, racing all around the region. Oh, and we see Adam Khalid going defensive on the main straight. Kane Shepard is going left, right. He's going around the outside on the main straight. Can he go around the outside of turn one? Kane Shepard just lifts. Can he chuck it into turn three? The little fight has allowed Sam Grimes to come even closer. The young Filipino in fifth place might actually vie for a podium position. Daniel Chow close as ever to leader Filipino Ben Grimes. But not too far behind them, we've got Malaysian Adam Khalid in P3. Thai, Kane Shepard in P4, and Filipino uh, Sam Grimes in P5. Sam gonna wanna get as hard as he can on the throttle out of this hairpin, down the main straight. Getting to that switch stream with a Thai driver, you can see Sam Grimes getting closer and closer to Kane Shepard making a move, let me look on the inside. Oh, and he just can't make it, very, very close though. Kane definitely saw that in his wing mirrors and he's going to want to be defensive for the rest of the lap now. But this is good for Adam Khalid of Malaysia. He's going to be able to pull a bit of a gap as the two drivers in the yellow cars behind him continue to fight. We're seeing Luke Thompson of Ireland catching up to Malaysian Timothy Yeo, the two red cars fighting as they go through the chicane. Oh, well, we see Adam Cullen making a mistake on turn 17. Kane Shepard able to go on the inside into the last corner. And Kane Shepard makes a move into the last corner like he did last race. Sam Grimes, a Filipino. Is he able to take fourth place from Malaysian Adam Cullen? Let's see as he goes into turn one. He tries to go around the outside. Will he make the move stick? No, we can't. And he goes on the inside of the Malaysian. Sam Grimes of the Philippines going in into turn two, making the move stick on Malaysian Adam Khalid. A fantastic drive from this young Filipino. His brother is in P1, and he's currently in P4. Adam Khalid is not too far ahead now. Sorry, Kane Shepard is not too far ahead. Could we see the two Filipino drivers on the podium? Oh, and he makes a... Small dive into the hairpin, can't quite make it. Kane Shepard in the leading yellow car, Sam Grimes in the second yellow car. And he makes the move stick. Kane Shepard goes wide and Sam Grimes is now in a podium position. We now have two Filipinos on the podium. Can Sam catch up to his older brother? Kane Shepard defending hard against Adam Khalid. Some excellent racing with these young guns. But the fight in this mid-pack is allowed for Timothy Yo and Luke Thompson to just catch up that little bit more. As this exciting battle takes place on turn 13, drivers negotiating this tricky set of corners. <laughs> Shivan of Thailand, not too far away in P P8. The young Thai driver making strides in his career. Of course, this is his first taste of single-seater racing. and has come a long way sitting down with our engineers and driver coaches. 
while the battle's pretty consistent up at front, let's see what happens a little bit further down the order. Sam Grimes in P3, Kate Shepard in P4, Adam in P5, Timothy in P6, Luke Thompson in P7. This really, really long straight. Huge aerodynamic effect coming into play with the slipstream. Can they make a move? We can see a, a train of red cars approaching turn three, coming into turn four. Further up the order, we have Ben Grimes in P1, taking the hairpin. Oh, and he goes a bit wide. Daniel Chow able to get on the power slightly better. But like we saw last race, can the Chinese driver make a move stick? Ben Grimes in P1. Daniel Chow in P2. Sam Grimes in P3. Kane Shepard in P4. Adam Khalid in P5. His fellow Malaysian, Timothy Yeo in P6. And Irishman, Luke Thompson in P7. Trailing slightly further back, Shivin of Thailand in P8. As the track gets cooler, the action keeps heating up. As you see a train of red cars, two Malaysians and an Irishman fighting for those extra points in the championship. A fantastic drive by the younger Grimes brother, Sam. Of course, really capitalizing on his newer set of tires. Is he able to catch the front pack? Ben Grimes really controlling the pace, not looking in his mirrors, really focusing on what he's doing and his driving. It's all about consistent lap times. As the drivers come out of turn four. Lead pack heading onto the back straight. As they make their run into the next, the first hairpin. Fantastic driving by the front two. So, so consistent between them. Lap, consistent lap times, lap after lap. Really maintaining that gap between the two. Although that's not working in the favor of Daniel Chow, who really wants that first place position. Ben Grimes just isn't cracking. down the field, Sam Grimes continues his dominance in P3. Kane Shepard in P4, not falling back as much as he was in the previous laps. Maybe he's able to catch up. We'll have to see whether Sam is able to maintain the, the degradation on his tires, maintain the wear. If not, Kane Shepard will really be able to catch up. Adam Khalid in a little pack of his own. Malaysian Timothy Yeo really trying hard to keep Irishman Luke Thompson behind him. And Shivan of Thailand negotiating the difficult turn 13. Accelerating hard up the gears into third gear as he comes into turn 14. A slight lift on the throttle, down on the brake, down the gears into second. Owen, what's happened? We've, we've lost Ben Grimes, there's a yellow flag. What's happened there? I repeat, there is a yellow flag on turn 17. Something's obviously happened to Ben Grimes. Homeboy favorite. Was leading all of this weekend so far. Is suddenly out of the race. That has gifted Daniel Chow of China first place. Unfortunately, we don't have any replays. We'll have to wait till the post-race interviews and the podium ceremony to find out a little bit more about what happened. We can see Ben Grimes there just under the Audi banner with his orange helmet. Good to see that despite whatever happened, he is okay as he climbs over the wall into the Marshall Post. Pure disappointment for the Filipino driver who was hoping to make it two out of two. 
Although not to worry, he still has four more races to go tomorrow to make up the championship points. Of course, there is an Event 2 championship on offer this weekend for the driver that gets the most points out of the six races. That means that Daniel Chow, now taking turn 13, is in a world of his own. Seconds ahead of the next driver, Sam Grimes in P2. One Grimes brother out of the podium, another in. Close racing up and down the pack. We can see all the marshals on track doing a great job waving their yellow flags, notifying the drivers that an incident has occurred. Ben is out of his car, but it is likely that his car is still on track. So the yellow flag just notifying the other drivers to not push too hard and be aware that there is something wrong on track. It also means that Thailand's Kane Shepard regains a podium position. Malaysia's Adam Khalid able to pull away a little bit more from his fellow Malaysian, Timothy O, who is just ahead of Ireland's Luke Thompson. As the sunlight fades, there's only a few laps left before the end of this 13-lap battle. This is the race two for event two of the Formula 4 Southeast Asia Championship, fueled by Petron Corporation. And don't forget, people, that we still have four more races on offer tomorrow of this six-race event. The track is open to anybody who wants to come and spectate. There are no grandstand entry fees. Everybody is welcome to come to the Clark International Speedway, sit in the grandstands and visit the pit lane, meet the drivers. Meet the drivers themselves in the pit lane, see their cars. I'm sure a few of the names on this entry list will be moving their way up the motorsports ladder in the next few years. Daniel Chow, definitely a name to look out for as he makes strides in both Asia and Europe. The driver really showcasing his experience racing around the world, racing from a very young age. Shivan of Thailand coming around the last corner, turn 18. Down the long one kilometer straight. A huge sigh of relief, I'm sure, for the Chinese driver, Daniel Chow, who's just been struggling all weekend to really find a place to make a maneuver against local homeboy, Ben Grimes. Of course, he's benefited from a, an issue that Ben Grimes has suffered. We're not quite clear as to what exactly has happened, but he's out of the race, and Daniel Chow is in P1. Now, what makes this even more interesting is that race three tomorrow morning, will have a starting grid that is determined by a reversed grid from this race. So the finishing positions of this race two are taken and the top 50% are rotated. So that means whoever finishes in fourth will start on pole position tomorrow. So Daniel Chow continues his winning ways and finishes this race in P1. He will start tomorrow in, first, uh, in fourth, sorry which will make it slight, slightly better for uh, Ben Grimes, who is trying to collect as many points as he can. Daniel Chow coming around the last corner. Sam Grimes, the Filipino, younger Grimes brother in second. Kane Shepard of Thailand in 
Adam Kali, the Malaysian of P4. Other Malaysian, Timothy O, P5. Luke Thompson of Ireland in P6. Coming around the last corner now, Shivan of Thailand in P7. Going up the gears, of course, this is, uh, these cars have six gears and they shift into sixth by the end of the straight, hitting a top speed of around 200 in kilometers per hour. As Daniel Chow comes out of the second hairpin, still carefully maintaining his gap. He's not going to want to push very hard. He's got quite a huge margin to the second place driver. He's, all the drivers still have to use the same set of tires for tomorrow morning's race three. So Daniel Chow is going to want to save his tires as much as possible so that he can be as fast as possible tomorrow. He's going to want to maximize his points against Ben Grimes in the championship. And I'm sure they'll both be gunning for the win tomorrow morning. Like despite the multiple fights, battles that were going on throughout the pack, all the drivers are settling into their own rhythm and spacing themselves out. And that's good news for Daniel Chow of China, who wants to maintain a gap as much as possible, still maintaining P1. Daniel Chow coming out of the second hairpin, maximizing the track width as much as possible, getting the best exit he can as he powers down this long mid straight. Coming into one of the hardest braking zones on the track, he's going to downshift into second gear as he goes left, powering hard out. They actually stay in second gear, they just bounce off the limiter a little bit, dab on the brake as he upshifts third gear. Approaching turn 13, in the middle of the corner, he'll downshift into second, get back hard on the power as he approaches the technical turn 14 chicanes. Down to second gear, using the curbs as much as possible. Through to turn 17, hard on the power. Drivers are coming around on that last lap. I repeat, this is the last lap. Daniel Chow in first. Sam Grimes of the Philippines in second. Kane Shepard of Thailand in third. Malaysia's Adam Khalid, the next red car coming through the last corner in fourth place. Just missing out on that podium spot. Followed by the next Malaysian, Timothy Yeo. And Ireland's Luke Thompson. And then in P7, we have Thailand Shivan making his way through the last corner, a flat out corner, using the exit curb. And I'm sure Daniel can now start breathing a bit of fresh air, a bit of sigh of relief. He only has half a lap to go before he takes the checkered flag. His first win of this event too here at the Clark International Speedway in the Philippines. This young Chinese driver, only 15 years old, dominating in Malaysia for the Formula One support races. He had a second place finish in race one, and he's now gonna finish race two in P1. I'm sure he's got a huge crowd in China supporting him. Comes out of turn 12. 
Up the gears into 13, down the gear into second. Hard on the power. Up again into third. The goal here is just to bring the car back home, not to push the car to its limits. With only a few corners to go. And as he comes out of turn 17, approaching the final corner of race two, the Marshall Six is headed out of the Marshall Post, and it's Daniel Chow of China who takes the checkered flag in first. Fantastic drive by the young Chinaman. And Sam Grimes of the Philippines. P2, I'm sure the home crowd is cheering for him. Kane Shepard in third. A fantastic performance by these three young drivers. As the rest of the crowd comes through. Adam Pali in P4. Timothy O, P5. And Luke Thompson, P7. And not too far behind. Shivan of Thailand coming through the last corner in P7. And I'm sure Ben Grimes will be extremely disappointed with the result of this race. Not helping at all with his championship points, but he has it all to do tomorrow with four races to go. I know that he's going to be pushing as hard as he can and really using the experience that he has to make his way through the field. And what a bittersweet ending for all of our Filipino fans following race two of event two of the Formula 4 Southeast Asia Championship. The results have just come in. It is Ben Grimes who was starting on pole position, was our homeboy favorite, the winner of race one, who somehow didn't finish the race. I'm not quite sure what exactly happened, but his younger brother, Sam Grimes, coming home in P2. As you can see all the drivers coming in to the pit lane now as they head for the podium ceremony. Don't go away, we'll continue the live stream downstairs as we go and cover the podium ceremony. See you guys there. Cool, see you guys downstairs.